what does gluten specifically do to the brain? Well, the gluten itself is not directly affecting the brain, but the subcomponent, which is this alpha gliadin, not only opens up the gut barrier, but also threatens the integrity of what we call the blood brain barrier. So basically we're keeping uh, our ability to keep things out of the brain and be threatening to the brain is breached. The walls of the castle have been breached, both at the level of the gut and also at the level of the brain, such that things that don't belong in the brain or threatening the brain finally do. And that's a bad situation. That activates these brain immune cells going from being friend to being foe, from being helpful to being hurtful to becoming the evil twin, the very same microglial cell. Suddenly, instead of going around and scavenging for bad proteins and misfolded things like beta amyloid and uh, pathogens, it suddenly spews out inflammatory chemicals and what we call reactive oxygen species that turns out to be damaging to neurons and even ultimately leads to digestion of the synapses, the connections between brain cells, and further threatens the integrity of the blood-brain barrier.